little update after two and a half weeks or so we have problems so first of all what happened was the rear bracket that was holding the exhaust in has completely snapped off because the weld that they did was just really bad and so because it snapped off i just mounted the bracket towards the rear over there uh, without the long screw because the long screw has nothing to go through and so i've been running it like that for maybe three days or so and that bar is actually connected to this mount and the mount over here where this bracket comes out and screws in after running for three days i guess the vibration and all the stress since it was all onto that side the screw snapped off in the middle of the road and so when i was riding today i noticed the exhaust was sitting so much lower because i have a burn mark on my fairing and it's not touching the burn mark it's like below the burn mark so i'm like okay something's definitely wrong so i pulled over at a gas station and when i looked underneath i noticed that my exhaust is literally hanging off from the screws connected to the header <laughs> that's it's crazy that's really really risky because this whole thing could have just fell off on the road and so when i saw that this was sitting so much lower i knew i had to pull over really quickly i don't know what i'm gonna do because i've seen someone else actually have this problem actually a couple people i've read up on forums i saw someone on youtube who had this exhaust that i've dm'd and uh commented on his video he said the same exact thing happened and um yeah it's just basically a design flaw so what i did is i actually contacted customer support um i reached out to zoom themselves i bought it off of amazon and what they said they're gonna do is they're gonna send me a whole brand new exhaust for free um without having to ship this back now as great as that is i feel like they're gonna still send me a new product of a broken design because if i get the new exhaust i feel like the same exact thing is gonna happen i messaged someone who does welding um, he built his own car, he built a, his own custom exhaust system, so he's pretty good at welding pipes and all that, but I feel like even if you weld the mount back on or whatever, it's still gonna break again. I just feel like the curvature just doesn't really work. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna get a new exhaust or if I'm just gonna run it like this and then just hopefully get a replacement bolt for the bottom mount and hope that it doesn't fall out this time. Because here's the thing, the bottom mount, the screw that I put in, it wasn't tight enough, I noticed, and that's because the screw itself was a little bit too short, so it wasn't able to thread through the um, the hex nut all the way. It kind of went like halfway through, and so because of that, I feel like it just kind of, from the vibration, it just unscrewed itself and it flew off the road. So what I'm going to do for now is get a new screw, a longer one, and a new bolt from the hardware store, and hopefully I can just lock it in a little tighter. I think it should hold. I don't think the bracket underneath the low mount is going to snap off. I understand how the mount from the rear would snap off just because there was a flex to it and it just couldn't really bend that way. The bottom one, it just kind of sits there. doesn't really flex or anything, so there's no tension on the bracket. It's just the screw was too short. So um, just a little heads up for you guys. I'm not going to not recommend this pipe to you guys, but um, I just wanted to let you guys know that this is something that is common with this specific exhaust. So just keep in mind, if you are thinking about picking this exhaust up, just prepare for the future if it does break. I know some people had great experiences with it, never had a problem with it, but it's not uncommon for this to happen to this specific pipe. So if you do plan on getting the Zoom Brute, um, I hope this video cleared up the air. I know there's not a lot of videos on it, especially for the Z. I know a lot of people have it for the Grom. I never heard of any horror stories with this pipe on the Grom. It's just for the Z, I noticed. So if you have a Z125 Pro and you're thinking about the Zoom Brute, just keep in mind that these are some possibilities. My recommendation um, is to just don't mount the rear because you're going to put too much tension on it. Just mount the middle section underneath with that sort of bracket and just get a longer bolt and screw for the bottom mountain. That's all I recommend. I, it's, I've had it for about three weeks now, and I mean, nothing went wrong besides that. It still works fine. With that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys want to check it out. And it's been your boy, Rikimoto, signing off.